Honestly, this is why Helldivers 2 is just so great. Look at this. There is a new live event happening now. We've got to go and liberate Tian Quan, the planet, because, well, the bots have invaded and production has halted on the exosuits. This is not a drill. Our factories are under attack, halting all output. Helldivers have been deployed to liberate Tian Quan. Get over to the planet, Helldivers, <laughs> and liberate it because we need those mechs. So this is the new major order. Tian Quan is home to the sole arsenal of new exosuit technology. It is only a matter of time before the automatons discover the arsenal and steal it for themselves. <laughs> an, an automaton inside an automaton. Oh no, it's like automaton inception this will be. <laughs> and steal it for themselves. Liberate Tian Quan before it's too late. The Advanced Liberation Tools Research Agency Ultra <laughs> has tested successful prototypes of a new combat asset. Helldivers are advised to review proper mechanical operation procedures in preparation for the incoming asset. And this is the major order itself, which does kind of give away when these mechs will be available if we manage to liberate this planet. And I'm pretty sure we will, because like the allure of getting yourself a mech is going to make everybody actually go to this planet. So this is going to have like 500,000 Helldivers on it. The planet is... So this is the major order. Secure a new line of combat exosuits by liberating the planet where the production facilities are located. And just go and liberate Tian Quan. You've got two days and 23 hours. So basically three days as from this video. And you will get rewarded with 50 medals. And also, you know, the ability to get exosuits, which is going to be absolutely sick. But that's not only it. We actually have a brand new war bond announcement. So this is like a new battle pass. So let's just take a look at this and we'll see what kind of stuff is coming. So this is the trailer for it. So we've got new armor sets uh, coming. Obviously, armor's kind of broke in the game at the moment. <laughs> doesn't really do anything. Just wear medium armor. I just like using the one that gives me more grenades so I can run faster, basically, and throw nades. Uh, new shotgun. An electric shotgun arc blitzer. Just looks like we're going to absolutely kill our team even more. Uh, there's a new base... Uh, energy base, sorry, last 16 sickle. And there's a shotgun, Punisher Plasma, which fires, uh, looks like it fires sort of plasma grenades. <laughs> looks crazy. We've got this last pistol. Yeah, the laser energy weapons look cool, but they don't really do too much damage. Uh, a stun grenade. Okay, this could be really strong, actually. Uh, that, that could be super strong. And uh, yeah, that's the Cutting Edge Premium Warbond. Now, of course, these are premium, so you're going to have to obviously, you know, use super credits to unlock them. So what we'll do here is take a look at what they say on the PlayStation blog. Uh, and they say this, the XEX, rather, 03 or 03 Prototype 3 includes a rubber underlayer for insulation. Handy. Really, as this prototype's wires operate at a shocking 400,000 volts. <laughs> EX16 Prototype 16, warning, electric arc generates a strong magnetic field. Avoid use while near stapled paperwork. Okay. Uh, and... EX-00 Prototype X, the end result of several billion super credits <laughs> and 12 years of research into creating the Soldier of Tomorrow, show us it was worth it. The last 16 sickle, a sweet laser rifle that fires in short bursts and it doesn't need reloading. Just watch for overheating or shove a new heat sink in there. The SG-8P Punisher Plasma, <laughs> exploding plasma rounds sound deadly because they are, to aliens and allies this modified punisher shotgun is as fun as it is fearsome and honestly that looks ridiculous <laughs> and uh, the arc 12 blitzer project an arc of close range lightning or charge it up to fire off powerful bolts good for taking out multiple targets and giving you more time to pick a celebration emote and you can unlock a new stun grenade the g23 stun and the last seven dagger pistol Okay, so yeah, this is a new premium war bond, and there's always going to be debate here whether these weapons are going to be super stupidly strong. That plasma punisher thing looks crazy. Like plasma grenades exploding, essentially being fired from the shotgun looks insane, or rather a plasma bolt that blows up. Looks ridiculous. Now, this is always going to be a debate we're going to have with this game, I think, because if they're shoving weapons into the premium battle pass, which just become, you know, must need and you need to pick them up, then that's going to leave a, a you know, a bad taste in the mouth of players however if they can somehow manage to balance the game so you know we're getting weapons that are all of similar quality which might be what they were trying to do in the recent update of course the last video i made we covered this and we went into detail on it where the devs are actually nerfing the railgun to bring it down and the breaker to bring them down more in line with the weapons we've currently got now 
Could this be what they're doing going forward with these new premium weapons? Are they really trying to avoid just putting stupidly overpowered weapons straight up into a battle pass, which you have to buy, uh, you know, with actual real world money? But one thing I will say about all of this is you have to remember in this game, you can earn super credits by actually just playing the game. So you don't even have to spend money on this stuff. You know, you can just go out, play missions, get super credits uh, from the, you know, the standard battle pass anyway, uh, the free war bond. And also you can find them in lockers and all kinds of places on missions. So, yeah, it does kind of soften that blow a little bit, but I still think it would leave a bit of a you know, a bit of a bad taste in the mouth if these weapons were just stupidly strong straight away. People were buying them and then they became kind of meta weapons. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but as I say, you can earn this stuff in the game. So it's not super, super bad if they are super OP, but it's not super great either. I keep, keep saying the word super. I suppose it's Helldivers for Super Earth and all of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, so this is what makes this game great, right? This event is awesome. I was hoping they'd do something like this and they wouldn't just sort of drop the mechs into the game and go, oh yeah, off you go. You can just buy them now, upgrade, you know, have them as a support stratagem, off you go and get stuck into the game. No, they've actually built a little bit of story again. Now we've got the planet Tian Quan, which is obviously where the mechs are being produced. The planet gets almost introduced as a character. The automatons are on the planet. We've got to get to the planet and we've got to like spend the next three days making sure this planet is liberated. We need to destroy the automatons. And it's just so cool. Like this makes you feel... Like you're part of a game which is evolving. And this has been what a lot of the coverage around Helldivers has been focused on. It's a live service game that's doing things differently because it's actually progressing the story all of the time. They're not massive major story beats. Is it some like insane trailer and a massive story arc? It's just a little thing, but it makes you feel alive. Well, it makes a game feel alive. It makes you feel alive because you're sort of in tune with what's going on in the game. It makes you go, oh my God, there's an update. I want to jump on and play it, which is literally what I just did. You know, I seen the tweet from them on Twitter, from the Helldivers account, and I'm like, you know what? I want to get in there and I want to just go and see what this is about. I'm thinking, oh my God, am I going to be able to get the mechs? You might be able to just find some of the mechs on these missions. I don't even know yet. But I jumped in. I played a mission. We destroyed the automatons. We also got destroyed as well. But we completed the mission. I'm using my laser cannon still because like, I'm just trying to make it work. It's okay. But I think it needs a bit more power. But it's just cool, right? And this is fun. This is what gaming should be all about. So I hope we get more and more and more and more and more and more of this stuff in the future. Because where could this go? You know, what happens if we fail this major order? I don't think that's going to happen in a million years. I actually don't because I think most of the Helldivers will go to that planet. But what happens if we fail it? What then? Don't we get the mechs? Is there some other story that's going to happen? Maybe another planet? Will the mechs be not as good quality because the planet that produces them has been, you know, destroyed by the mechs? Or I don't know, uh, by the automatons, I should say. It, it, I don't know. It just makes me really... It, it's just fun for the sake of being fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening and watching the video. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you lovely lot on the next one. See you soon.